Hi everyone, today's our video is about 10 main attractions at Nepal Valley. Nepal Valley is world's famous wine area and one of the most popular tourist attraction in California. This place is home to more than 400 wineries. Let's go through the each attractions. The first one is the Napa Valley Welcome Sign. This place is for a photo memory. Whoever come to Napa Valley will take a picture in front of this sign. The second one is Castello di Amorosa, also known as the Castle Winery. This winery is just opposite to the Napa Valley Welcome sign. The main attraction in this winery is a castle in the middle of a vineyard. Its construction started in 1994 and used the 13th century Tuscan style architecture. This castle is open to public in 2007 and it has 1,36,000 square feet with 107 rooms and 4 underground level and 4 above ground levels. They have guided winery tour in which they will explain the steps and the procedure of wine making. Also they have the wine tasting option. You will get an awesome view of vineyard from here.
third one is sterling winery the main attraction in this winery is a short cable car ride from the main entrance to the villa and the distillery which sits upon a hill looking over the napa valley Here we can taste some of their latest wines during the self-guided tour. We can see a beautiful view of vineyards from the upper terrace. Fourth one is the Bale Grist Mill State Historic Park. This is a automated mill which powered by the outside water wheel. Water to rotate this wheel is coming from the nearby creek through a ditch system with a wooden flume. This mill was started in 1843 and still in working condition. We can see a demonstration of milling and we can taste some cookies made from the flour milled there. Fifth attraction is Napa Valley Wine Train. It's a 36-mile round-trip train right between Napa and Saint Helena. It is more than just a train ride. It is a luxurious train journey with four-course meal and wine tasting. They are also offering different packages with winery too. So, check the package, book early to get a ride and if you can afford Sixth one is Oxbow Market. Oxbow Public Market, located in Oxbow district of Nepa, is a local gathering place for great food and wine in downtown Nepa. From this market, we will get organic local crops and high quality food products from the local food producers and agricultural community of Napa Valley and the surrounding regions.
The seventh attraction is Darius. Darius Winery is specialized in premium wines. It was founded in 1997 by Iranian-born Darius Khalidi and his wife Shahapar. The main attraction of this winery is the four columns and the fountain in front of the winery. As usual in other wineries, wine tasting option is also available here. We can also access to the nearby wine yard. The eighth one is the Domain Carneros Winery. The chateau at the Domaine Carne Rose is considered one of the most beautiful wineries in North America. Chateau means the French style country house or castle. The visitors come here have to go through a grand staircase in order to reach into the winery. They are specialized in making of sparkling wines. This winery is not a kids friendly, all visitors must be at least 21 years of age, so we have to come back.
The ninth one is St. Helena. St. Helena is a city in Napa County. St. Helena Downtown is a one-stop shop for unique gifts and treasures. So, just go for a quick walk through the street and you will love this place. The last and the tenth one is the Grape Crusher statue. In 1986, the well-known sculptor the Gino Miles created this statue and now it become one of the main landmark of Napa Valley. The statue will be more beautiful during the sunset time, so plan to go at the evening time there. Please subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.